Well, some restaurants say they just can't survive operating at a quarter of their normal capacity. That's why one business owner temporarily shut down four of his restaurants and bars in downtown Colorado Springs yesterday. Cardio News Channel 13's Julia Donovan is live outside Bonnie and Reed in downtown Colorado Springs with more. Julia. Heather, the owner here tells me it was a tough decision to make, but they wanted to close early before they're down and out. From here back, including bar, we're not allowed to seat. There's just no way we can maintain that occupancy. Owner Joe Campana temporarily shut down his downtown restaurants yesterday. They're Bonnie and Reed, Cork and Cask, The Rabbit Hole and Supernova. Some of our staff just kind of were in disbelief. A lot of people did have reactions where they were worried and they were crying and they were just trying to figure out what the next step is. 120 workers across all four restaurants are now filing for unemployment. Campana told me food costs have risen dramatically over the last few months, and the margins are so low for restaurants, losing just a little bit of profit can do a lot of damage. He says they've also had nearly 30 cases of COVID-19 run through their restaurants in the last six months, so they're worried about their employees' health. They plan to reopen when cases go back down. Meanwhile, the state health department says it's avoiding another stay-at-home order to try and keep businesses like Joe's open. A statement to KRDO says, quote, a statewide stay-at-home can have devastating impacts on Colorado families that can result in even poorer health outcomes. The impacts are disproportionate as some Coloradans in lower wage jobs cannot telecommute, for example. It's why we want to implement every conceivable strategy before more extreme restrictions. Joe believes the current restrictions are already doing quite the damage, but ultimately he understands why the health department is doing this. When you start to weigh out economy over lives, it's, uh, it's a tough decision. It's not a decision I want to make, you know, but at the end of the day, cases are rising and there's nothing we can do about it. Campana told me he hopes to reopen all of these restaurants when things get a little better COVID-19 wise, but that's not the case for everyone. According to a new Colorado Restaurant Association survey, around 50% of restaurants said they could consider closing permanently in the next six months, given the current conditions. Reporting live in downtown Colorado Springs, Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13. Very troubling, Julia, thanks.